thrilled to be here to celebrate James and to be at a TMI event. And before I do, I just want to say, um, I had, I've had the most intense, amazing day. I was at the March for Black Women's Lives in Washington this morning, and I feel like this day has just been amazing. But I, I just want to say one thing about TMI. I know all of us are very traumatized by the week we've lived through, watching our nation disintegrate in front of our eyes in terms of the government. And I was thinking as I was sitting here tonight, after watching a room full of aggressive, angry, non-listening, plowing through, shoving agendas, hurting, not hearing, not feeling woman's pain, I'm in the opposite world. It's a world of grace. It's a world of kindness. It's a world of healing. It's a world of listening. It's a world of care. This is the world we all want to live in. And I want to honor you. Thank you. Thank you. So I wrote a little piece for, I don't even know how to describe what I feel about James the scene. He's my, my brother, my friend, my kind of husband. In a, <laughs> Um, my roommate, my life, soul, friend, anyway. So this is called My Fairy. You might ask, what is a fairy? A woman born in a man's body. A new kind of whimsical man born in an old man's dying world an enchanted being squeezed into a human suit. A creature who dresses up in tutus, ball gowns, lime green jumpsuits, chunky heels, and always glitter. A creature who dances in moonlight, who crochets names on baby clothes, always with red thread, who saves teenagers who are fairies or love fairies by listening deeply to them, and getting lots of other people to do the same. As a matter of fact, he made a national fairy project of it. A creature who makes magic, and spreads magic, and is magic. A crafter who makes wands with gold and withies. A mischief maker who dances around the towering locust trees at midnight, who plants hawthorn trees so the other fairies know they are welcome a delicate being, a feisty gremlin, a visionary, a mystic comedian, and lip synker. <laughs> a being whose mission is to sparkle the world, a sensitive creature who is easily hurt and sometimes holds grudges. Fairies require attention and kindness. They are totally vulnerable to your carelessness they are mighty brave to show themselves in this world. They tell wicked good stories and make you laugh till you want to vomit sometimes. <laughs> they perform with their whole beings and hearts and can deeply become other people because they have no walls. Their skin is empathy. They sometimes hear angels. They have a lot of fairy rules. They have serious aversion to commercials and all things transactional. They make heart-opening plays and books. They honor all those who are gender fluid, and they particularly adore young people, and they despise binaries. <laughs> Fairies show up when you're sick, when you're in despair, and they surprise you by writing poems on your walls, stenciling snakes and lotuses on pathways and fireplaces. And sometimes, if you're really lucky, they'll invite you for a crafter noon, which is a fairy term, by the way. <laughs> They can heal a slipper or mend a hole in your favorite garment. They are seamstresses of light. They are constantly weaving a kinder world with worn thread made new. They crave the expanse of consciousness. They enchant and they charm unless you piss them off. <laughs> I would not suggest bullying a fairy. It really rubs them the fucking wrong way. 
they are utterly driven mad by those who cling to the closet. Fairies are crazy kind. They see the young woman with the pierced nose serving them coffee. They care about the man mowing the lawn. And they need to be loved and cherished and seen and appreciated and loudly celebrate. But then again, who doesn't? They write rungeous books. They have endless crackpot theories. They make things better and better because they're guided by love. On rare occasions, fairies reveal their wings, but only if they know you believe in them. Do you believe in fairies? I mean, do you believe?